Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about important terminology about phase diagram. So, which kind of terminology that will be going to be used for the better understanding about phase diagram. So, let us start with first importance to study about phase diagram. So, by the phase diagram, the better understanding about the properties of materials. So, basically the properties of the material that will be depends upon the requirement of the engineering applications. So, properties may be like mechanical properties, electrical properties, chemical properties, etc. So, which kind of properties it will be present into the various kind of phase at the different set of the conditions like temperature, concentration and pressure. So, the better understanding of the properties of the materials at the various set of the conditions. So, that will be need to be studied according to the under the loading of the particular components which will be used into the engineering applications. Then, it gives relationship between phase in equilibrium in a system as a function of temperature pressure and compositions but most of the phase transformation processes that will be at constant pressure so this pressure it will be always constant so basically the all the relationship of the different phases it will be with respect to temperature and the composition or you can say concentrations so that will be the representation it will be called as a equilibrium diagram so you can see that the phase diagrams are also known as equilibrium diagrams why it will be the equilibrium diagrams because it will be the set of conditions of the temperature and compositions it will be having a different phase so by the heating and by the cooling there will be the number of phase it will be exist at the different set of conditions of the temperature and compositions at your constant pressure. So that representation of the different phases with respect to temperature and compositions it will be known as a phase diagram or you can say equilibrium diagram. So to study the phase diagram is the preliminary steps to know the control of the microstructure. So as early we discussing that the different kind of phase it may be exist at the different set of conditions of the temperature and compositions. So that different phase it will be having a different structure and different structure it will be having a different mechanical properties or you can say properties of the materials. So by the help of the phase diagram to study the various kind of phase it will be exist at the different set of conditions. So that of set of conditions it will be called as a different kind of microstructures it being formed at the different set of conditions. So first terminology that will be used into the phase diagram and it will be system. So thermodynamically a system is a isolated body of matter. So that will be the one system just you can see. So that will be specified by the boundaries. So that will be the boundary. So the system it refers to a specific portion. So these all are the specific portions of a object within a specified boundary so this is a boundary of system so into systems that will be the specific portion so that will be look like this so which will be subjected to the specified variables so in the case of the phase diagram main three variables as we already discussing temperature pressure and compositions but in case of the each and every phase transformation or phase diagram it always occurs at constant pressure process so mainly two variables temperature and compositions so here that will be the variables like temperature and compositions 
so at different temperatures and compositions the systems it will be having a different kind of behaviors so which is considering as a isolated body of the matters so this will be differs from the another systems so that will be having a different kind of properties from the another systems so in these systems it will be having a different kind of structures so just you can see so these systems it will be having a different grains and that all grains it will be separated by the grain boundaries so the one grain that will be completely differs from the another grains of a same systems or you can say all the grains it will be get together or you can say separated by the grain boundaries and to form the systems so in general way it will be called as a system or you can say in simple way isolated body of the matters the next second important terminology phase so basically a phase is a physically distinct chemically homogeneous and mechanically separable regions of the systems so in previous case we already makes a one system so just you can see this is a one kind of systems or you can say isolated body so in the case of the phases so that will be physically distance chemically homogeneous so if it will be the single system so only pure metal is being present if it will be the binary suppose that will be the copper and nickel so atoms of the copper and atoms of the nickel it will be having a 100% solubility into solid state so basically it will be called as a chemically homogeneous but both the copper as well as nickel it will be mechanically separable regions of the system so the systems like copper and nickel systems and the different phase of the copper nickel that will be make the new solid materials so which will be physically distinct so that will be called as a phase so the various states of matters like gaseous liquid and solid for separate phases so according to the different set of conditions of temperature and compositions or you can say concentrations it will be the formation of the different phases so the phase like gaseous phase liquid phase or solid phase which will be basically depends upon the temperature and compositions so first phase the gaseous state so generally it always a single phase because of the all the atoms or you can say molecules in the gas are mixed at the atomic or molecule levels so in case of the gaseous state the distance between the atoms or molecules it will be the larger so it forms the gaseous phase so generally it will be occurs at the higher temperatures with the different kind of compositions of the metallic structure then second one a liquid solutions so basically it is also a single phase like a salt which is dissolved into the water and they mix at the atomic level into the solutions and to form the new solutions in the form of the liquid state so in case of the liquid mixture on to the another hand such as water and oil forms two different separate phases so there is no any kind of mixings at the atomic level so basically the mixing of the two components or you can say two component system in first case salt which will be having a 100% solubility into water so it forms a single phase materials but both the components like a uh, water and oil so both are 100% insoluble with each other so it forms the two different phases or you can say two separate phases so there will be the no any kind of mixing at the atomic level so once again the formation of the new phase or single phase or two phases that will be depends upon the solubility of the atoms with each other so basically that will be depends upon the 
different kind of solid solution theory so if you want to learn in details of how the both the metals or both the components it will be mixed together so that will be representing by the hume root three rule so you will find a link in my description box in third category in the solid state so different chemical compositions and the different crystal structures are possible so that a solid may consist of the several phases so that will be depends upon the solubility of both the materials at the room temperatures to form the new materials so according to the set of conditions of the temperature and compositions it forms the several phases at room temperature as well as at your higher temperatures so basically in case of the phase which will be presents as a gaseous form liquid solutions or you can say solid state so generally that three category of the phases that will be depends upon the set of conditions like a temperature and weight percentage of composition of the alloying elements after the discussing with the systems and the different phases now talking about components so the components of a systems may be elements ions or you can say compounds so in simple way by the addition of the elements or you can considering as a different elements different ions or compound materials or you can say atoms of the compounds which forms a systems so systems that will be makes a isolated body of matters so always the presence of the atoms or ions it will be makes a systems and that systems it will be having a different phases like a gas then liquid and solid so generally that phase it will be depends upon the set of conditions so now talking about the components with the examples like this h2o is a single component systems while it is having a three phase at the different temperatures so at different temperatures the h2o which will be considering as a single component systems and the phase like this ice so that will be considering as a solid state or you can say solid phase if it will be having a different set of temperatures so it will be the water so considering as a liquid phase and at higher temperatures the water it will be converting into the steam so that will be act as a gaseous phase so here that will be the h2o considering as a single component system so in the case of the component it will be single but it will be having a three different phases of the solid liquid and gases so these elements of h2 and o which forms a single systems because in case of h2o the it will be having a 100% solubility so it will be makes a single component systems with the different phase at the different set of conditions so if the component is single or you can say one component so that will be the unary if the two components is being used to form the system so that will be the binary systems if the three components is being used to form the systems so it will be the tertiary and if the four number of component is being used to form the systems so that will be called as a quaternary systems so these systems it will be a isolated body and a different component is being present it will be the makes a different kind of systems and that systems it will be having a different kind of phases at the different kind of set of conditions now after the discussing with the system phases and the components now the most important part of a phase diagram and that will be degree of freedom so basically degree of freedom it will be the standard variables of the systems are temperature and pressure but they are the external variables within the systems but the composition is also considering as a variables so the compositions are expressed as a weight percentage of the metallic materials or you can say atomic structure is being present
तो बेसिकली डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इज डिफाइन एज द नंबर ऑफ एक्सटर्नल और इंटरनल फैक्टर्स ऑफ द सिस्टम्स सो दैट फैक्टर्स इट विल बी कंसिडरिंग एज अ टेम्परेचर प्रेशर एंड कंपोजिशंस बट दैट कैन बी इंडिपेंडेंटली चेंज विदाउट अल्टरिंग द इक्विलिब्रियम ऑफ द सिस्टम्स so at the set of conditions of the temperature and compositions and pressures it will be forms the different phases so basically that the presence of the phase it will be depends upon the main three categories or can say main three variables so these variables it will be called as a degree of freedom but most of the phase diagrams it will be works on to the room temperature so that will be the one atmospheric constant pressure so for the study purpose you can just concentrate on to the temperature and compositions now in simple way the degree of freedom we can say that without causing a disappearance of a phase or the formation of new phase into the systems so it is known as a variance of the systems so variance it will be temperature pressure and composition so these mainly systems phase components and degree of freedom it will be the main terminology to understanding the different phase diagrams as well as the gibbs phase rule so i hope you understand this all terminology and that will be help in future for understanding of the various phase diagrams so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching